Do you feel tired, short of breath, dizzy? If so, you may be suffering from a condition known as sepsis. It turns out that what happens in Vegas doesn't always stay in Vegas. You see, when I came back from my buddy's bachelor party, it really burned when I peed, I had joint pains, and I had a yellow discharge coming out of my penis. But I was lucky that my doctor gave me vancopine. If sepsis is taking so much out of you, ask your doctor about vancopine. When I came to the emergency room after a basketball injury, I was surprised to find out that I was suffering from sepsis. Doctors told me my blood pressure was dangerously low, and that if I didn't get strong antibiotics fast, I could die. Vancopine combines the MRSA fighting action of vancomycin along with cefepime. <coughs> when I first came to the hospital with cough and runny nose, I thought it was just my seasonal allergies, but it wasn't. My doctor told me that I may be suffering from a serious hospital-acquired infection because I work in the hospital. Vancopine is by prescription only. A few days later, I started having horrendous diarrhea. A doctor wearing a heinous yellow gown came in and told me I was suffering from an infection called C. diff. He initiated the treatment with vancopine right away. I still have my cough and runny nose, but at least I'm alive. People coming from TCC are at risk of resistance to vancopine. Unfortunately, the diarrhea became so severe that doctors had to remove my rectum and most of my large intestine. And now that I'm colonized with VRE and multi-drug resistant Klebsiella, I always get a private room in the hospital. Do not take vancopine if you have a history of resistant bacterial infections. Now, after a three-week ICU course, I can, I'm free to enjoy life again. Doctors later, later told me that when my blood pressure was right in the emergency room, the blood pressure cuff was actually off, and that my blood pressure had probably been normal all along. Side effects may include nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, C. diff, renal failure, and being chewed out by infectious disease services. I don't have to worry about urination, and I have plenty of time to reflect on the dialysis machine. But the visiting nurses have been really great, and after being laid off from my job, I have nothing but quality time to spend with my family. I like that. Vancopim is not for everyone. Ask your doctor if Vancopim is right for you. Thanks, Vancopim. Thanks, Vancopim. Thank you. Sepsis hurts. Vancopim can help. <laughs>